Hi, people. I thought I'd just jump on and introduce you to somebody that I've had the privilege of meeting recently. He's called Rami. He's from Bethlehem. And right now he's in the midst of doing my 12 day course on therapeutic mentoring for children, young people and adults who are traumatized to help them recover from trauma. And the more I've met him, the more I've heard of what he's doing and the charity that he's starting. And I know that you're going to want to hear this, too. So he's going to tell us a little bit about it. And there's an option for you to be able to give to this project, which I know you're going to be excited to be able to do right at the end. We'll put the link on so that you can be able to give. But why don't you tell us a bit more, Rami, of what you're doing? Um, well, uh, my name is uh, Rami Khadr. I'm from Bethlehem, uh, Palestine. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you for the course and uh, for the not only the richness of uh, uh, the the content, but also your welcoming uh, to 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 have me as well. So really, that is a unique experience. Um, I have founded uh, recently um, uh, an our organization for psychosocial support, which is an organiza organization that is uh, entirely dedicated to serve children uh, who have experienced oppression and violence as a result of living uh, their entire life under occupation. Um, we provide uh, a unique programming between um, healing, uh, therapy, counseling, uh, and art interventions that would give uh, a space for children, their caregivers, but also community members to come together and really uh, um, together find ways to uh, combat uh, um, oppression inside out, uh, be able to really deal with violence inside that is caused by living under occupation for generations, not only trauma that is coming from the incident or uh, one in violent incident, but really uh, trauma that is coming from one generation uh, into the other. Parents who are raising their children, fearing for their life, fearing for their safety, not being able to express themselves freely because they are afraid of them in taken into prison like other children who are uh, uh, at the moment in Israeli uh, prisons. So the whole situation is really not only oppressive to adults, but it's really oppressive to children as well. For that reason, we have decided we want to reach out for children and heal them by giving them this uh, space for expression and healing as well. Um, our uh, based uh, uh, in the West Bank, uh, but we are also thinking of uh, reaching out uh, to Gaza um, as a result of uh, the war uh, that is taking place at the moment. Um, it it is not easy. It it is it's such um, a war that is not. We haven't seen anything like it uh, before. Uh, at the moment, we're talking about 20,000 people killed. Uh, among them, between 7,000 and 8,000 are children. Gaza is densely populated. More than 50% are children. And just thinking about it the other day, I mean, as a parent myself, not being able to protect my... J just thinking about it, that I am, I won't be able to protect my children is is traumatizing by itself. So I'm imagining other parents who are living in Gaza at the moment and they have no idea where to go with their children or where to find a shelter uh, to protect them from even winter. Uh, not only the bombs, but really winter, the, the brutality of winter uh, as well. So um, we started actually the foundation before uh, the organization before the war on Gaza. Uh, but uh, this war had made our work even more important and more integral uh, because children are exposed not only to violence at the moment, but they are exposed, exposed to media, to social media, to seeing images of uh, uh, children murdered in streets, uh, and they ask us, they say, uh, uh, don't we deserve life? Why Why other children are being killed? Uh, is, is it going to be our turn uh, soon? 
um, so children are expressing th those emotions and uh, uh, they're vocal about it because they are afraid. Uh, so we are also helping parents how to deal uh, uh, with the emotions uh, of their children during uh, this conflict, how to help children to understand um, what what is going on, but still try to protect them from seeing the brutality of the images. Um, even though that it is hard, th those images are everywhere, on TV and social media, uh, you go to places and people are just watching the TV all the time and children are exposed to that. They, they talk about it in school. Um, we, we are talking even with, with headmasters in schools and they are telling us that since the war, violence in schools, bullying in schools uh, is on the rise uh, to, to an amount that is uh, very hard to deal with. For that, um, we started really to believe that uh, working with trauma in Palestine, in, in a place where children has been affected by trauma uh, uh, for generations, um, it needs to be um, a community-centered approach. It needs to be a collective community uh, effort rather than only an individual uh, effort. Um, for that, we really believe that Anar is is uh, is doing that work, and we really hope that we continue to reach out for children and their caregivers and community in different places and offer them uh, healing and hope. Beautiful, yeah, I love it. I love your website. I love what you speak about it and what you've written about it. And I think in these horrific times that you know, we in England get to see different photos that are just beyond awful. We we want to do what we can to support people like you doing what you can do. So I think it's a real privilege to be able to, uh, you know, offer people that might be watching online the opportunity to give directly to you, who we trust is doing a really good job looking after children, young people, and actually aiming to break generational trauma so that these children's children won't be traumatized. That's, I think, what we'd all dream of, isn't it? Um, so let me just show you uh, the very briefly the uh, information for those of you who are interested um, on giving. This is just a little bit from his website. Um, beautiful photos of the kind of activities that they're doing in Bethlehem. Um, here's a few more things. Um, and then there's a GoFundMe. This is a little bit about the GoFundMe and the charity that Rami's starting. And there are the details. This is the website here if you want to check out more of what he's just starting. And here's GoFundMe so that we can see how many children, young people and families they can actually reach, which I think is just so, so important, such incredibly important work. And I'll put those links um, Below, above, below, or somewhere on the social media. So thank you so much, Rami. Thank you for telling us about it. Um, and I hope that everybody watching will be able to support this in some way. Thank you.